Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. Today we're going to talk about big snakes, and big snakes have big personalities which require big responsibility. You're watching Snake Bites. This show is all about big snakes, and I've been keeping big snakes since I was 15 years old, so I certainly have a passion for it. These boa constrictors, although they aren't monsters like the Burmese and the Retix, are still considered big snakes. They might max out at about eight foot, but the fact is no matter what snake you wanna buy, if you're getting into the monsters, you gotta do a tremendous amount of homework and make sure that you're ready for that responsibility. When considering big snakes, one of the things you certainly have to think a lot about is cage enclosure. When you have a ball python or a corn snake, you can keep it in little tubs, no problem at all, but these guys get huge. As a matter of fact, this reticulated python is in the family of animals that is the longest snake in the world. There was a reticulated python down at the Columbus Zoo named Fluffy that was almost 25 foot long and the largest snake in the world. These guys get really big, which means they need a really big cage. And as you can see with reticulated pythons, they seem to be really more, a lot more intelligent than a lot of snakes. And that means that they think a lot and you gotta be careful when you're handling them a little bit. They're definitely more hyper than say a Burmese python, which is their other counterpart that's much more lethargic and easy to handle. When you have an animal like this that's a good 15 foot long, and she wants to start to move, it's really difficult to keep her going. So again, you wanna make sure that there's a couple people around when you're handling a snake like this, and make sure that you're ready for that type of responsibility. All right guys, that's Cal's question of the week. Now recently I found out that some cities um, outlaw entire breeds of animals, like uh, pit bulls or rottweilers. What do you think about that, George? I think it's those ignorant that are worthless human beings they ruin the whole reputation of a breed because they're it's a good opinion. I want to know from you guys. Text your video comment below. Is it the actual breed or is it the ownership of the breed that makes them dangerous? Let me know. When it comes to Burmese pythons, these are the ones I've been keeping and breeding since I was a kid, like 15 years old. And I always say, I don't know that every 15 year old should own a Burmese python, but I certainly did fine with them. And I just love these guys. They don't get as long as reticulated pythons, but they certainly can get big. And when we're talking about big, that means you've got to be able to afford to feed them because these guys are going to eat frozen rabbits. And certainly a frozen rabbit is more expensive than a frozen rat. And you got to remember, something like this is going to live 20 plus years so you got to make sure that you can make that investment of feeding and caring for it for the entire life when it comes to big snakes they can really be fun to handle this one's super tame even when it's dark and blue and as we've said you know when a snake is in blue typically it becomes more aggressive you can see she's still just a little puppy dog but you got to make sure that you can handle these guys their whole life because the one thing we never want anyone to do with a big snake is to release it into the wild we certainly got our hobby into a lot of trouble with that happening certainly if you ever get to a point and you get a snake and it just outgrows your enclosure or you just can't handle it anymore make sure you find a really good reptile rescue that's willing to take it off your hands never ever release it but again these snakes can be super tame and super docile but it's not always the case let's go check out a snake i call satan remember animals are just like people there are people that are really nice and there are people that are really mean we happen to have a snake here that i've committed to keeping her whole life that's named satan and I tell you what, she has quite an attitude. And when you're handling something like this, you gotta really be careful, because as you can see, she is fired up. And she, this is one that actually is really unpredictable and will come at you from all different angles. So when you're messing with something like this, you always wanna have someone on standby, but you also gotta be super careful that she doesn't bite you in the face, because she's got a long strike range. But even a girl with an attitude like this, once you get her up, She'll actually mellow out and she's actually not that bad. But when you first go in there, you gotta really be careful because taking a bite from her, which I've done in the past, is never a fun thing. Just to recap, big snakes can be absolutely fantastic, just like my girl Sunshine here, but you gotta do your homework and if you ever need to get rid of them, never release them into wild. Find that reptile rescue. to get everyone together, introduce you to your new co-worker, Toby. Actually, you're both kind of hurting me. 
Yeah, everything's going just as planned. They're a mess. It's gonna be way easier than we thought. What? Your eavesdropping on her? Dude, that's not cool, man. Did you not hear me? Somebody planted her here to take us down. Dude, that is a major accusation. Y you gotta have some proof, dude. Proof? I f heard her, Brian. You think I'm lying? Well, no, I don't think you're lying, but what do you want me to do? Just fire her? Get some proof and yeah, then maybe I'll do something. Whatever, fine. Just watch your back and don't say I didn't warn you. So, is it true that Brian produced the first super chocolate Wonka ball? I don't know. You're gonna have to ask Brian that one. Oh, come on, John. Can't I sneak a peek? No, it's a secret. What are you two doing? Nothing. Get back to work. Hey, George. Nice shorts. Thank you. These are my Thursday shorts. So, will you show me the super chocolate Wonka ball? Chewie's being a lame old grump. Well, we're really not supposed to talk about that. And make it worth your while. Okay. No, 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 no. Well, I'll show you. Show her what? Nothing. They just wanted to show me who was better with the green trees. We'll save it for later. It's your turn to clean the break room. Why well, you always gotta wreck our fun, Kel? Yeah, I think she likes me. No way, dude. She's digging me. Listen, if you both knew it was good for you, you'd leave it alone. The chick is bad news, guys. He's just jealous. Get the f out of here. Hey, I'm here. What's up? Well, I have something I want to tell you. Yeah? Well, I, um... Toby! I love you! I want to have your babies. Damn it, Shoes! No, Toby, listen. I'm in love with you, and I want you to have my babies. Who's it gonna be? Guys, I'm flattered. But the truth is... I love you both. What? You can't do that. Chewie, my real dad was so mean to me. And even though I've only known you a couple hours, I love you, but like a father. And George, you're so funny and so bright. Any girl would be lucky to have you. You can have me. I love you, George, but I can't. Why? George, I'm your mother. For this week's Comment of the Week, we're going to head over to our Google voicemail, and this call was from California. How come Chewy is getting bit so much? I mean, why does he get bit by everything? Also, are paradox animals, like, special that they just come out that way and they can never be reproduced? And they're just, and it's just a random thing, just like a co-dominant morph? Or can you just breed it out? Well, I'm not really sure. Chewy does get bit by everything, and it sure is fun to watch. And as for the paradox morphs, some of them are genetic, like the Kenyan Sambos, but the majority of them are just freaks of nature, but they sure do look cool. If you guys want to leave me a voicemail, we always love to hear from you. Just hit the number down below. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and understood that big snakes can be awesome animals, but they also require a tremendous amount of responsibility. And of course, the community I'm going to shout out to when we're talking about big snakes is MonsterSnakesForums.com. It's a great community and they're all about the big animals over there. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites.